Now, let me give you a stock that I don't talk about enough. It, the stock sells at seven times earnings. It's got a much better balance sheet. It's doing a lot of very high tech stuff. Yep. And the name is General Motors. Okay. Make stuff, yes. sell it. Yes. They get the chips, right? They'll sell more. They've got a hot. You, during hummer. the Mad Dash, you brought up this idea on the autos, and I was trying to follow you, but having not the easiest time doing it. Which do you believe is going to be the case? Is there going to be a glut I'm an, I'm of a, automobiles no. or a shortage of no, automobiles? There, there, won't, there'll be a, there will be a or shortage. Or is it going to be just right? Well, okay, uh, the guys, you have seen a lot of downgrades of, say, the used car companies, uh, Carvana, but that could be competition because uh, Lithia, which is a fantastic company, is opening all over. CarMax is getting in that game. But I'm focusing on companies like Ford and GM. Now, Ford's had a parabolic move, so it's going to give up something. But they, they were very chip short, but they are order long. And so when you have a company like Ford, it's no longer the way it used to be. They have an order book for the F-150. So you can actually figure out that they're going to make a lot of money. They've got out of a lot of different markets. But the big problem has been they don't have the chips. If they have the chips, they meet the demand. The demand is not going to go down by four rate hikes. Okay. It's just not, I mean, Are they I, going to have the chips? Which, by the way, gets no, us back to the no. story, one of the big stories of the morning, which is Pat Gelsinger and the Ohio plant. They have billion to have dollars. Not happening tomorrow, obviously, that no. they're building that and plant. Why did he pick Ohio? It's very interesting. Did Ohio give them something good? We, I'm not sure. Focus on that. Oh, not Dow's sure. now down. Damn. Not sure specifically. Right, so, you know, so you take a look. In Ohio. I just am urging you to look at there's a lot of companies that have come down a great deal. Now, we happen to know uh, ServiceNow. Now, they're going to be on soon for us, right? Yes. Now, ServiceNow was at 700. Now it's at 500. Now it still sells at 800, at 80 times earnings. You're never going to get this at 20 times earnings. Do you buy Salesforce here? I mean, by uh, service what about two of your all-time uh, favorites and two of your all-time best calls, uh, NVIDIA and AMD. NVIDIA is now below $600 uh, billion in market value. I can remember a day right. when it was above, it was across, I think it was $800 billion. Uh, and AMD uh, is also down 16% well, for the okay, year. So, NVIDIA is down 19%. So AMD, we sold, we sold some at 160 It was very painful. And we started buying some back. We haven't bought back. You know, we're starting to buy it back. I think it's interesting. How about Look, NVIDIA? You haven't sold any there. No, I haven't sold NVIDIA because NVIDIA, I hate to use the, the term long term, but I think NVIDIA's got a lot going. Remember, NVIDIA's your gaming chip. NVIDIA's your, meta, your metaverse chip. Mm -hmm. NVIDIA's your, the only problem I have with NVIDIA is, is that they are the highest level of autonomous. And I just don't think that you're necessarily going to get there that fast because if there's one accident, you know what happens. But I like, I like these semiconductors that have come down a great deal. And I like companies that had been very expensive, and they're not. And I don't like all the stuff that came. Uh, David, I searched for one company that has come public in the last year that I would want to buy. One. 